y'all what's up my name is Claire if this is your first time to my channel you picked a great day to start today I'm going to be showing you how I get clear skin and how you can hopefully get clear skin too I'm going to be showing you my everyday skincare routine plus a couple other products that I use every once in a while such as like face mask and all that good stuff I'm going to be showing you something that I've been doing for several months I know a while back I did a skincare routine but it has definitely changed since then I've gotten some great new products that I'm really loving really enjoying to use on my face I'm just gonna be walking you through that it's so simple so easy most of the stuff is like under ten dollars I'm not gonna lie like I, I'm a drugstore skincare kind of person because I mentioned this on my channel like a while ago I was never really big into skincare until pretty much when I first started my YouTube channel like a year and a half ago so that's when I kind of like really dug into it but I'm going to be featuring some really cool products today and just walking you through that for the most part if I, if you want like a background of my skin um so you can know if this video is going to be relevant to you I do have more oily skin as you can tell I just woke up just got out of bed that's why my voice is kind of a little weird all I've had is some water um and this is my face like when I wake up I know the lighting's a little bit different in here um but I have oily skin is what I'm trying to say and I don't really have acne anymore um, I never really really struggled with acne if I'm being honest but I do have a problem with blackheads and every once in a while I'll get really bad breakouts so actually a week ago a week ago from today I went to Sephora for a facial if you watch that vlog and a couple days later that which I was expecting I had a couple breakouts like on my chin down here they're going away now um, and then sometimes if I eat bad I'll get breakouts like right here I eat bad um earlier this week so I have a little breakout right there but overall for the most part not a whole lot I do have a lot of blackheads on my nose but I actually have something in this video that really has helped with my blackheads and you've probably been able to tell because you watch if you watch my makeup videos you can see like super up close and like personal to my face and so I have a product um products that have helped me get rid of those so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started with the skincare routine so i shut that door so we could have a little bit more of like a clean looking background um but i have two face cleansers slash face wash that i really like both are super affordable the first one is my shower face wash so when i'm in the shower this is what i use it's the formula 10.0.6 Best Face 4 Daily Foaming Cleanser. Anything that says it's going to remove oil, I get that because I do have oily skin, but it also says it removes impurities. So I feel like this is just a really good, easy cleanser. I think this was like $5 from the drugstore or the skincare kind of section at Ulta. It's so good. So, um, yeah, amazing. And then the face wash I use every morning, my like actual favorite favorite is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Cleanser. It says it removes dirt, oil, and pollution. And so like I said, anything that removes oil I'm going to get and also like any kind of like impurities. And also I've noticed that um, any kind of like charcoal, charcoal or like the, like the clay kind of wash, um, it does really good stuff for oily skin. And so one thing I was struggling with um, like a year ago was I would use this face wash and I would just use like warm water and just like rinse off my face. But something I've really been loving lately is this, it's like a spin care system and it's from the brand Duval. I'm going to link it down below. They're not sponsoring this video but they did send this to me like several months ago and I've been putting off putting up this skincare routine because I really wanted to master it. Um, and so it has four heads. It's the Radiant Spin Care System. I still have the box because I kind of like to keep everything together. Um, so it came in like this box and it came with four different heads. So again, this is the Radiant Spin Care System. It comes with like four different heads. It comes with this thing. So you just use it to spin um, your little heads, your brushes. So first it comes with like this large body cleansing brush. So I, I like to use this. So before I use fake tan, which y'all know I do, you are supposed to exfoliate your legs so I'll kind of put my foot like kind of in the shower and just use this and then um like after I put on my body wash and stuff I'll cut water go everywhere um so I'll kind of like just turn this on and like do it on my like legs to kind of really exfoliate and because it is for your body and then it also comes with a facial cleansing brush and a facial exfoliation brush you can kind of tell one's a little bit more dense than the other the exfoliation one and they're so good they're so good this is like something i've been wanting for forever and when they reached out to me i was like heck yes i would love to do that um and then it also comes with a pumice stone i don't use this one as much but if you have like rough spots on your face i used to use this like on my feet which i guess you really 
could use this on your feet to get rid of like rough spots um like calluses and stuff but i do think if you have like rough spots like you know around your chin or like wherever you may have those definitely use the pumice stone i don't use it as much as i do the other three so i do want to say before i even like show you my skincare routine i will link all their information down below and with the code efficiency 2019 i'm going to have that down below too you can get 70 percent off of this which this is like worth a lot of money like any of these no matter where you go you, these are pretty pricey and so to get 70 percent off of something that i'm going to show you how good it really does work like i like i'm not an important person like i'm not you know like a big celebrity so it's like i'm you know i'm going to be honest like this thing really does work and i'm going to show you but um so yeah you can get 70 percent off which is like crazy and yeah down below so first thing i really will do is just wet my face a little bit in the morning um with a little bit of like kind of warm water i'm not sure if you're really supposed to use the exfoliating brush or the cleansing brush first i'm not sure which one really would make you know more sense <laughs> for people but i actually i use the cleansing brush first and you can just tell it's the cleansing one because it's a little bit softer um and then i like to take a little bit of the l'oreal cleanser and put it a little bit on the brush you can also put it on your face or just like dab it everywhere so maybe y'all a little bit closer to my sink so now that my face is nice and wet i'm going to turn this on hopefully you can see and then i just kind of go around my face and get the whole thing covered with the face wash and then i just kind of use it to cleanse it so yeah you can just really feel it just really working because your hands if you think of sorry i'm gonna turn that off if you think about it, your hands you're just kind of like rubbing it back and forth this you can feel it actually you know kind of not digging into your skin like it's not rough on your skin at all if you're worried oh, i just put that in my eyeball so i wasn't paying attention and accidentally it went into my eyeball show must go on so you can just really feel this going like diving into your skin without hurting it and it leaves your skin feeling so soft um so like I said, I got a facial at Sephora last week, and you walk out of there with your skin feeling like a little baby. Well, that's what this makes your skin feel like every day. I just got a facial to see if it would make me feel, you know, really any different than this. And this is honestly just like a facial at home. Like, it just feels so good. And so, like, even before I wash it off, I can just tell it just got a layer of gunk off my face. I'll just use kind of a warm water and rinse it off my face. And then while it's still kind of wet and a little bubbly, I like to go in with the exfoliating brush because I don't want to do it on like a, you know, a dry face. Um, but for this, I really typically don't even use product. I just use what's left over on my face. And so this, you can just kind of feel it. It's not, it doesn't hurt at all, even though it's exfoliating. It just kind of like tickles a little bit. Yeah, you can just kind of feel it getting rid of that like excess layer of dirt that we all have on our face. And I typically really like to focus on the T-zone. Sorry if this is like really loud. Cause like here's where I have a lot of blackheads and this I've noticed has helped a lot with my blackhead problem. And then after that, I go back into the water and just make sure everything is off. So now I'm just gonna take a towel, dab my face. I got this towel up from Goods. Home Goods, sorry if you didn't hear that. When I use the pumice stone, I would advise like kind of wetting it first so it doesn't like, you know, feel a little rough. But I am kind of rough like around my chin. But it's not like one of those pumice stones, you know, that you feel like is like ripping off your feet. You know, you remember all those that used to be like really popular? Um, this just kind of gives you like a, like a smooth finish if I had to describe it. So if you have any rough patches, I typically only would use it on my chin. That's what I would do that for. When I work out a lot, my chest kind of will break out sometimes. And so that the large body brush, I think would be really good for that. Um, but yeah, so my face looks like a, a baby's bottom. It feels so nice. And then typically the first step after that, I will use this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Does this work? I don't know, but it smells good. It makes you feel good. It makes your skin feel just light and airy. Um, I got this from Ulta. It was like $12, I believe. Um, you can also get a mini one for cheaper. So I just spritz that all on my face. I have like the simplest skincare routine. I'm not going to lie. Um, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my favorite moisturizers. Now, a lot of people think if you have oily skin, you don't use moisturizer. Well, that's not true because if you don't use a moisturizer, then your face is just going to overproduce oils and that's what causes the oily skin because you're not moisturizing it. So your skin is like, we need moisture, so we're going to make it ourselves. And no, it really is so important to moisturize your skin. My favorite moisturizer in the world, I believe it's about 
30 to 38 dollars you can also get the mini samples like this i'm out right now i'm going to tell you what i ended up getting instead and if i like it better or less um but, but my favorite is the origins ginseng gel energy boosting gel moisturizer again this one's empty i just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like it's normally in like a little container like with a spin-off cap um but sephora has been out of it the past like five times i've been there over the past month and so I, and I, have, I just haven't ordered it online, but that's my favorite. It's so good for oily skin and dry skin. I know people with dry skin that use it. Um, it's just, gels are really good for oily skin too because it doesn't get you all cakey, you know, and lumpy. Um, but what I have been using, the lady in Sephora talked me into getting this because they were out of the other, is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. Sorry, that was a lot of words. Okay, I think if you have less oily skin, maybe more combination or dry skin, I would 10 out of 10 recommend this. I would like 7 out of 10 recommend this for oily skin, um, like I have. So like I said, the lady in Sephora talked me into getting it. It was pretty expensive. It was like 50 something dollars, I believe, $52. And so it comes in like a thing. It just literally feels like water is going on your skin and it really does moisturize. I do like to use it in the morning. Um, because I do notice like throughout the day if I use a matte foundation it doesn't make it feel like I never really get oily and like normally I will get oily throughout the day so I think it kind of stops it when I do have on makeup but at night when I put it on before bed and I wake up the next morning my face is just even more just kind of greasy feeling so it is more of like a daytime moisturizer and it doesn't take a lot like a little definitely goes a long way this was actually way too much as you can see it it just kind of goes on like a water because it's a water cream. Um, I've also heard the Hydra Boost by, I think it's Neutrogena. I hope that's right. Um, a couple of my friends have that and they said it's really good. So I'm probably going to try that next and it's a drugstore. So yeah, but this really does work like throughout the day and I'm going to be putting on makeup today. Um, so like I know it's not going to get my skin too oily, but it's just like... You know, if, if you have oily skin, you can kind of see the shine already. But I do feel like if you have um, dry skin, definitely, definitely recommend it. And it's not really scented, so it just kind of goes on. Another one that I kind of like, I've used it all, but um, don't love it, is the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Um, I like it, but it kind of just leaves me feeling a little bit sticky. I showed this in my last skincare routine when I had like pretty much first gotten it. But now that I've like tried other things and you know seen different pieces of things, I have stuff to compare it to. So that's that. Um, I would recommend it though if you have more like combination skin, I guess. Now I'm just gonna be telling you a couple of other products that I like for my skin. That was basically my go-to every morning skincare routine. One of my favorite face masks is the Ula Henriksen Cold plunge pore mask um influencer sent me this from sephora like a year ago and i still use it i use that like once every two weeks and then i have this little sample from glam glow which i love glam glow it's really expensive so that's why i'm like really holding on to this sample but when i have really bad blackheads i use this it is the super mud clearing treatment so i'll just use this literally just on my nose like probably like, once every two weeks um, i kind of alternate with all my face masks but one face mask that I love lately, it is the Three Times Sublime. It is a three-in-one blackhead um, wash scrub and mask. So you kind of just put it on your skin and let it kind of sit. And then it's going to kind of get like a scrubby feel to it. And then you just like, you know, distribute it all over your face. And then you let it dry and then you wash it off and it's kind of like exfoliant with it. And which you could also use this to kind of get that off too and it really does help with your blackheads so another bl blackhead solution like i said i really do struggle with blackheads i love the biore um nose and face deep pore cleansing strip so you know we've all seen these for the nose i think shay mitchell was kind of like their girl for that um but this one is for the nose and face so you have to make sure it's really really wet if it's not like if your skin's not really really wet before you put it on it's not going to work it's just going to rip off in like kind of like pieces so you do have to make sure your skin's wet or it's not going to work i just want to throw that out there because the first time i used it i was like this is nothing it didn't do anything um but that's because it wasn't wet and another thing i will use in the shower at the end of the day after i wear worn makeup i have the garnier skin active Massler, missler whatever you say um 
foaming cleanser it's an all-in-one rinse off i don't love makeup wipes i'll be honest they break me out i feel like the more products you put on your skin like that um that are meant to like get stuff out it's just gonna make you break out but so this is what i like to use to get my makeup off um and so i'll just kind of put it on my face in the shower and then take literally like a washcloth or just my hand and just scrub it around then take the washcloth like with nothing on it and just kind of get it off before i wash my face um but when i am doing my makeup videos and stuff to kind of um like if i have to get like actual like you know product off of my face before i go if i do my eyes first i will use either these makeup wipes by equate or these are they about the brand oh they're by kroger that was it for my skincare routine today i will say that i do have some skincare products coming in the mail um in the next couple of days that i'm going to be testing out over the next couple of weeks but this is the routine that I use every single morning that I'm loving and it just makes my skin feel fresh and clean and oil free and ready for the day and I really genuinely do love this Deval, um Radiant Skincare Swiss System. Um, it really is just so good. It works so gently on the skin, but it does its job really good. And you know, some of these you'll get and it's super rough on the skin or some maybe like, you know, not powerful enough. And this is just like right there in the middle. You don't feel like your skin's getting ripped off. You literally feel like you're having a facial and it's so quick and so easy. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to link all of that down below. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, and make sure to subscribe down below. This is a part of my morning routine and I've had a lot of requests to film my morning routine. So I'm going to be doing that next week um, before work one morning. So yeah, I was going to do it last week, but then I kind of overslept, so I didn't. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave me a comment down, letting, down below. Let me know what your favorite skincare item is, or your favorite part of this video, or a video you want to see me make. You have no idea how helpful it is to get suggestions. Like today was a suggestion. So yeah, um, I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and stay blessed. And just so you know, I'm filming this, editing this, and uploading this all in the same day. So it's like a live action skincare routine. So. Thank you for joining me today and have a great day. Bye.